Hey everybody, welcome back to a Denton County weather forecast and today what we're looking at is the potential for severe storms here across North Texas, including the Metroplex and really even including Oklahoma and going even into Kansas. So we have a pretty large risk area. I'm going to mainly be breaking down North Texas for you in this forecast, um, giving you what you should expect this afternoon and this evening. Uh, when will the storms begin? The future radar, what does it look like? And what is the tornado threat? Because obviously that is a big concern of many people right now. Um, and I'll kind of break that down for you as well. So here's what it looks like as of right now as of uh, 11 o'clock EST, which is about 10 o'clock in CST. So uh, 10 o'clock Texas time. As of right now, there's an enhanced risk of severe weather here in the DFW Metroplex. That includes the Four County Metroplex, uh, Denton County, Tarrant County, Dallas County, as well as Collin County are all included now in an enhanced risk for severe weather. Now, the main reason why this was added to those counties, as well as even Weatherford and Decatur, uh, was mainly due to the fact of the damaging wind threat. That was why the enhanced risk was added to those areas. Now, the reason why there's an enhanced risk to the north is because of the damaging wind threat, the hail threat, as well as the tornado threat. Primary tornado threat will be to the north in this area, kind of north of this line. That's where the main tornado threat will be, even though tornadoes will still be possible in other areas, including even the yellow shaded region, which is the slight risk. Uh, but at this point, that's what we're looking at in terms of what looks like for North Texas. The slight risk includes Texarkana now, uh, Tyler, Corsicana, Whitney, Claiborne is actually included in the uh, slight risk still. And uh, those areas are mainly the ones that are included as of right now. The moderate risk of severe weather is including Oklahoma City, Tusla, um, Ada, as well as Lawton. Those areas are included in the moderate risk. So this moderate risk is mainly for the tornado threat and nothing else. It is actually just for the tornado threat. That's why it was upgraded to a moderate risk. And that's the best chance to see potentially a few strong tornadoes. That is why this moderate risk was added. So a uh, very dangerous situation there, obviously. And we will still have a dangerous situation here back in North Texas. So let's go individually risk by risk. Here's the damaging wind risk, which is literally the same exact thing as what we're just looking at. There's enhanced risk for damaging winds here now in DFW. That includes Decatur, weather for Dallas, the four county metroplex, basically, um, and anywhere northwards. Uh, that's for the damaging wind risk, and uh, it's still the same thing for the uh, slight risk for damaging winds, which is about a 15% um, chance within a 25 mile radius, which includes Stephenville, Corsicana, Tyler, um, Waco is actually including that as well. And this severe thunderstorm risk goes all the way down to San Antonio, by the way. So it is a pretty large area that we're looking at uh, from this trough. All right, here's the large hail risk. The primary area for seeing any sort of large hail will actually be here near. Norman, Oklahoma City, lots in those areas in central and southwestern Oklahoma will have the best shot um, in this dark shaded region here. So that is the best chance to see some large hail, potentially damaging hail in excess of potentially two inches in diameter. So that'll be an area to really watch out for, for large hail specifically. There's still a pretty good risk of large hail here. There's an enhanced risk of large hail that extends all the way down to Denton, by the way. So there is still a risk for large hail. That includes Bowie, Sherman, Denton. The best chance if you are in the DFW Metroplex will be primarily in this area here so anywhere in this area and I can't even rule out probably in some of those initial cells a good chance for hail will exist in this area as well so um, definitely keep that in mind this afternoon and the evening uh, mainly this evening we won't really see any storms until at least about seven eight o'clock uh, this evening all right quick look at the tornado threat as well uh, the main areas that are included now in this tornado threat now the main area for the moderate risk for the best chance of potentially some strong tornadoes as well is actually existed up here and this is going to be um, what I was just showing you the moderate risk area includes lots in um, Oklahoma City all the way up to Tuscaloosa and this is the area that we're really concerned about for that tornado risk. Now, there is something interesting to point out here. Sherman and Paris and Greenville are the basically nor just northeastern portions of DFW actually have now the best shot of seeing a potential for a tornado in the DFW Metroplex. So uh, that's something to keep in mind. This area has a potential. Basically, what this is outlying is a there is a now a 10% chance within a 25 mile radius of an EF2 tornado or greater. So this is an area that I'll have to watch very closely. Now, just this yellow, darker yellow shaded area is for a 10% chance within a 25 mile radius. No specification if there would be an EF2 tornado or greater. So um, this area still has that chance and that does include still, it includes Denton. Um, Greenville obviously is included. Bowie is actually included in this as well and just to the east of Wichita Falls. Uh, the 5% chance within a 25 mile radius includes Dallas, Claiborne, Corsicana, Weatherford, all the way down to Waco, Palestine, um, Tyler, Mount Pleasant. Those areas are all included in that 5% chance. And the 2% chance is the light green shaded area, which very unlikely to see any tornadoes in those areas. But 
Again, there's a very good chance that we'll see a tornado somewhere in this area tonight. So um, if you know anybody right along the Red River, make sure they're aware of this. Make sure you share this video with them. Uh, make sure that you are giving them information because this very well could be a very dangerous situation. I think the best chance uh, we could see easily one to two tornadoes in this region right here. So right along the Red River, that'll probably be the best shot tonight. So uh, make sure that you are prepared for that. All right, let's take a look at the future radar and what we're anticipating here over the next several hours. Obviously, no showers or storms are expected until at least six o'clock. The earliest storm will Will develop today is six o'clock. Um, I can't rule out maybe an isolated storm before six o'clock, but that would be well west of DFW. Would not include the Metroplex by any means. This is by eight o'clock, nine o'clock. You can see the line of storms really develops, and I'm going to point something out here real quick. At eight o'clock, you can see a lot of these cells are not really attached to a line, and those are the ones that'll have the prominent chance of seeing potential for a stronger tornado initially. And it would primarily be to the north, um, but there could be a couple in here that could very well have a chance of maybe having a quick spin up and maybe causing a potential tornado. Now, by 9, 10 o'clock, you can see this is by 9 o'clock. The line of storms really begins to strengthen, becomes more organized, and this is where we'll see mainly a damaging wind threat, maybe some large hail, and definitely a potential still for a couple brief tornadoes embedded in this line of storms. They're usually pretty quick, and usually there's not a whole lot of warning beforehand. So um, you do need to be monitoring the weather very closely. Once this line of storms passes, um, you you will be clear for the night, so you don't have to be concerned about any sort of severe weather. Now, not, again, not everybody's going to see severe weather, but um, it's definitely going to be something that you want to monitor. Um, as there is a pretty good chance that somebody at least nearby will see some sort of severe weather event. By 10 o'clock, the line continues to push through the Metroplex. It just passes through I-35W, which is uh, going through Denton County by around 9 to 10 o'clock. That's the estimated time. Uh, Plano and Dallas will start to get in the action as well as Sherman. 11 o'clock, the line continues pushes east, and it starts to weaken a little bit. It starts to kind of break up more. Um, the damaging wind threat would probably be the primary, primary risk after about 11, 12 o'clock, and then tornado threat should start to diminish as it passes through Paris. Um and eventually even passing through Tyler should start to diminish. And the large hail threat, I don't really anticipate much of a threat past Paris or Tyler. So if you know anybody over near Shreveport or um, Texarkana, I don't really anticipate much of a hail threat there. But obviously make sure you take your proper precautions and have a plan in place. And going through Monday into Tuesday, we'll start to see more storm activity Tuesday. But uh, it's a little bit unknown of what we'll exactly see. I'll get more details on that tomorrow and I'll be making more videos on that. But here's a quick look at the tornado parameter. Now I do want to point something out. This is by 7 o'clock tonight. You can see these values, per these purples and you know, dark, like the darker colors here, those represent values of four or greater, which is an extremely high risk of seeing a tornado. So there is very, very well a good chance we could see some sort of tornado event near uh, Norman or even Oklahoma City. So um, that is why it's going to be a very dangerous situation tonight. There's still some values here right along the um, dry line closer to like Wichita Falls that have a, you know, still about a two on the scale um, of seeing a tornado, which is basically a low to moderate risk in most terms. I can see two values of between two to three. So that's what we're looking at there. You can see that the values actually peak at about eight o'clock with values closer to five in some areas and over in Oklahoma though. Obviously here in North Texas, we're still looking at values between two and three, which is still a pretty good chance of seeing some sort of tornadic um, activity. This is going through the next few hours. You can see this is going to be closer to about nine, 10 o'clock. Uh, you see the values are still around two to three here as it passes through Denton County as well as uh, Cook County and uh, Tarrant County. Eventually those values start to drop more um, as we go off to the east and you can see the values should primarily drop and we won't really see much of a tornado threat past Tyler, Texas or uh, Paris, Texas. So obviously a lot to watch tonight. Make sure you stay updated with Denton County Weather for the latest. We'll keep you updated on Facebook, Instagram, and as well as on YouTube with the latest. And uh, make sure you have post notifications on on Facebook to get any alerts uh, that do come out tonight. Make sure you have a way to receive alerts via a mobile app. Make sure you have some sort of way like the Weather Channel app or the AccuWeather app. One of those that will give you severe thunderstorm warnings or tornado warnings if one is issued for your area.